let's study reference it's helpful to have reference so we can have something to compare with in terms of scale timing texture and look we have this reference So it's from Final Destination 5 Bridge Scene. So let's just check how we can study this. And let's take this scene and always just pause and take a screenshot of that. And you can just draw over it. For example, this is the character. So we will load Houdini character over here and we can compare the fracture size as well. So if we check, we have really large fracture, but it has much smaller fracture. Right, so you can just draw this kind of step and also do check that it's a corner piece so that's why it's bigger but in middle pieces there will be more smaller pieces and second thing you can check here the edge detailing that it has right right so this is the scale that we need to check and second we need to check timing so how we can study the timing so let's just take this crack scene and this is the character and the cracks are coming from here you can open reference footage in software where we can play frame by frame so here we need to just go frame by frame so just always count it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so that's how we can just predict it because in the end we will walk on frames right so we should have understanding that how much it's traveling based on frame number so it's traveling from here to there in 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 Right. In 7 frame, it's traveling that distance. It's like a human height. Right. So that's the kind of thing that you need to study. And also do check out the texture also. And it has some inside detailing as well here. right? And we always have a creative freedom. So it's not something that we are locked to do to some reference or something. Okay. So this is how we can study this reference. And always remember, it's not about matching it 100%, but it's always have something to compare with in terms of simulation, in terms of shape, right?